Hello Gearspace. Uh, it's Thomas from EOWave and uh, I'm going to show you. We have seven new modules this year. Some, there are some we have been working on since several years, but I think we have some pretty nice stuff to show to you. So first one I'm going to show you is called the Ricochet. And uh, it's a quad chain DK with VCAs. It's a full analogical like uh, module was four decays. Uh, they are exponential and each one is uh, control of VCA. Thing is, uh, you have your outputs, separate output from for envelope and for VCAs, and you have summed outputs. But when you plug something of on uh, individual outputs, it removes from the mix. It's called like chain envelope because you can chain the end of decay of each envelope to the next one, so you can ratchet envelope. I don't know, it's not the best patch to do that, but let's start a reason so you can see what it can do. And there is a noise also like with uh, normalized to the first input, so you can use it as it own to uh, like create some kind of uh, I add kind of stuff. The kick is here, for example, I trig uh, here. I uh, control the sign uh, frequency of uh, no rate. So I have my kick sweep and I can control the decay with this knob. With this, this knob. And uh, the sign is going to the um, VCA of this one, so I have the amplitude. And pretty nice to play with. And uh, since it's on all analogical, uh, you can um, change the dynamic of the trig input and it will change the envelope, so with uh, um, pads or things like that, velocity pad, you can play the, like, uh, the, with the dynamic of the module. And there is also a header on the back to uh, link the last envelope to the first one. That's a shame, it's not like... I can show just like... A, it's plugged to nothing, but to show the linkage, you see here when I everything is linked, and the envelope like ratchet themselves, like when the the envelope are like uh, triggering like uh, consecutively. And so when you patch, uh, you can patch uh, plug two together to have eight envelope like this. And uh, if you you can do some kind of sequencer, like weird time sequencer, if you plug the output of the last one to the input of the first. So you have a, a sequencer of the time of the, the decays. Second one I'm going to show you is a super mix. It's a really compact stereo mixer made for mostly seven UKs because you need to have space to mix things. But uh, sometimes you want to pan things or have stereo um, inputs. And this one is like uh, you have six voice. You can pan two manually. You can pan two by CV because you never need, or barely, not often need to pan everything by CV. Two stereo inputs, since there is a lot of stereo module right now. And uh, you can, uh, you have a header at the back to link this to our new phone module, line out phone module. So you can have a master volume, but uh, if you don't want, you can uh, uh, keep it compact, let's say. Uh, you have mutes. All the signal path is um, the, uh, analogical. The only digital thing is uh, the mute, uh, um, the mute thing, and there is 12 VCS with a, a, a envelope on each one, so you don't have clicks. We worked a lot on that, so you have like a, you have a clickless back, back troll kind of uh, mixer, and we work a lot on that since there is a function on it. It's called swap function. You can choose between six modes and it's uh, to make mute automation. So for example, first mode is like you can change the mode by clicking here and on one of the button. First mode is when uh, there is uh, no input, it, you have your no normal get state. And when you put uh, I get, it will reverse the get state. So you can uh, change your patch like this. Oh, the second one would be uh, one, uh, once you trigger the input, uh, it will change, so you will be uh, able to access this function here. So you have two scenes and you click and it changes 
and uh, Clis Clis. The uh, third one is uh, more creative. It's like you have you have a six-step sequencer who reverts the current state of the mute. A kind of weird, but I don't know. It's creative, so you can play like uh, with that. You have a binary counter, so you can have access to all the possibilities of the the gate configuration you have a random but uh, between two and, f of, uh, and five volt if you trigger you can um, make uh, the gate more probable to uh, appear I mean, you know, and the last one it will be a um, um, rotating you can rotate the um, the gate states like zero volt is the states five volt is like it shifts the states the last one come to the first one and five volt is a full like cycle so this one is pretty compact but pretty nice you have also a on the back to uh, be able to uh, output a trs output on the left to have the a stereo output if you want and uh, yeah you can use like the pan to uh, uh, to do send because uh, if you pan right and you have a send you can use it like that Let's talk about the next one. We have this module, which is kind of, uh, the, I will say, the masterpiece of what we are presenting today. And this one, let's add some volume and and let's 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 let's. It's so this one is uh, it's called Tempête Magnetic. So this one is a. Uh, Quad multimode filter, you have four, like 12 dB filter, multimode, so you can choose high pass, low pass, bomb the pass. If they are synced to, uh, together, so one knob can control two or three or four, like uh, cutoffs, you can put them in serial, parallel, so you can do a 48 dB filter if you are really, uh, like, if you want some really <laughs> fat filtering, you can do crossover, stereo filtering, quadriphonic filtering, everything you can do with a filter. I can make you listen it. It's like a filter, so... But the thing is, we call it complex filter. So it's a nice, gnarly filter. But we work it in a way that, like, you can mm, use it, like, not uh, to push you to use it, not as a filter, but as a, like, kind of complex oscillator, wave shaper, uh, send voice if you want. And I'm going to show you some example of that. And uh, so there is a ping input, an envelope follower, and all the outputs. You can use them separately, the filter by pair or by, um, or like as one filter. But each output has been worked in a way that you can fit them back to the inputs. And so I can create an oscillator, for example, right here. This one is fed back to the input. It creates some, uh, self, not self oscillation, but feedback oscillation. So I have an oscillator. I put this one in serial to the second one. So I have some filtering. I have kind of a send voice. It's kind of Volpa Octave. Not in the eye, but. <laughs> And since I have um, an envelope follower, I can do something like that. I can put a gate inside it and I can choose the envelope follower if it go to both filter or just the second one, and like that. I can like uh, have a full send voice, let's say, just by self patching it. And we call it complex filter because this part of the filter can cross-modulate this part and this part, this part, and you can choose the amount of cross-modulation. And uh, so here I made a um, oscillator, same as the first one, by feedbacking the output to the input. And I can, with this fader, send back the oscillator to uh, the first like a pair of filter and wave shape the sound and I can even like CV control the VCA. 
So just by self patching you can make some synth You have also like you have also a ping input, so you can you can ping it like classical ping, yeah. happy ping, like make bongos or things like that. But still, it's like cross modulated. Yeah. Make nice poppy, ploppy sounds and blip and blops, of course, because it's modular. And uh, what you can do is, since the ping input is normalized to the first input and to the envelope follower, you can create drums. You can change the threshold of the envelope follower. You can put a, a rhythm, like an auto follow, and do this kind of stuff. But you can do like a boom check rhythm. Yeah, yeah that's the kind of stuff. And the other way to use it is as a wave shaper. Like if I uh, take this sign, and like remove everything, just keep the output. I take this one, plug it into the output. I have a sign here, like classical sign, but I can cross modulate the sign by itself and create some harmonics, like gnarly stuff. Like, uh, I'll be fine. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you can wave shape also by pinging uh, the ping input with an external oscillator. And so it shapes your um, the shape of, of your oscillator is uh, like uh, the envelope of the ping input, and you can like uh, make some. It's not wave folder, but it sounds a bit like it great harmonics. It's, it's a sign input. I remember you, so you can really work on that, and you can also like if you want recreate the oscillator on this one. And uh, you have uh, access to the envelope follower too, so you can also use it. So your sign input is now, now a bit more like a uh, gnarly than a sign, let's say. And the uh, thing is, everything is uh, analogical, so you can uh, put some negative voltage. For example, this one can be really low, but if you put some negative voltage, you can like, uh, you have not the boundary of uh, digital module. It's, uh, you can create some kind of, of LFOs with it, uh, remodulate. It's really made to, like, uh, to experiment with it. Not really be used as a filter. It's, it's a good filter, but it's more than that. And uh, last one I can show you. It's this one with a small MIDI to CV converter, same like for like compact case, you have 12 CV, uh, sorry, uh, 8 CV, 8 gates or 16 gates, a simple configurator on it. We work on the configurator, on an online configurator and uh, yeah, that's like a pretty compact one for the function and you will have preset too, like user preset, factory preset. And uh, it's USB-C and um, MIDI TRS too. So, and we have also last one. Let's say um, a small like um, function generator, really classical, from logarithmic to uh, to linear to exponential with looping functions, slow limiting, like really the classical one. But since we are building a a, um, a system slowly but surely. Uh, that's something we need that, and uh, yeah, we are like, I think that's pretty much everything I have to show you.
Merci. Thank you, Gaspace.